Welcome everybody, this is Christian from Sterling Night Gamers and today I'm very happy to report on the new news coming out from Fantasy Flight Games that there is going to be a Star Wars Rebellion Rise of the Empire expansion. I've really enjoyed Star Wars Rebellion. I've made quite a number of videos on it and I've always seen that it's definitely been ripe for various expansions. Rogue One is definitely the easier aspects in order to just make a few adjustments to the gameplay. I still think further down the line there may be an expansion that allows it to go into either the prequel era or into the new current trilogy. Of course you would need new units and maybe even a map expansion, but I think eventually we may get that, but this seems to be a smaller, more limited expansion, but I'm definitely looking forward to it. It introduces a few new game pieces. There's the U-Wing and TIE Striker. I suspect that they are going to be new ground combat vehicles. There's also the new assault tank and a more heavy trooper. There is also the Interdictor, which will be a great addition, which will probably be able to prevent rebels from being able to escape hyperspace during the engagement and as well as the nebulon b frigate i'm not exactly sure what role that will play it'll probably be something just that is a little bit more powerful than a corvette but not as powerful as a mon Calamari cruiser it'll probably end up having three health since one has two and the other one has four I'm not exactly sure if he'll give it more of an anti-ship role or more of the black die, but either way, I'm looking forward to playing with it. There also seems to be the dish relay piece as well as the defense lasers that were seen over in the Battle of Hoth. So those are just going to be additional ground components. There's going to be some new heroes. Um, Cassian, Jan Orso, the Jump of the Hut, non-Jedi uh, Force Believer, of course, um, Director Krennic as well. There's going to be several dozen new missions as well as new combat cards and it's supposed to be over 100 new cards. So that's definitely going to be interesting. I like the example that they gave that you could secure the Death Star plans, which prevents the Rebel players from being able to use Death Star plans in order to take out the Death Star. So that's definitely something very powerful. And if you keep a fleet in ground forces protecting those Death Star plans, maybe you can keep your Death Star alive the whole time. So it'll definitely make people more aggressive with the Death Star because a lot of times when you know the Rebel players have at least a potential to have the Death Star plans, you kind of hold back because that's two victory tokens right there. But if you know your plans are secure, you may be a more willy-nilly with sending it around the galaxy and using it just for its red dive. So I'm really looking forward to this. New commanders, new missions, new variations. It looks like there's going to be a few new game mechanics with the damage decks as well as the secure tokens as well as whatever the new dice end up being as well as the new missions that will be associated with the heroes. Cassian's individual Mission is particularly interesting. The secret mission that allows you to draw some of the upcoming mission cards and then be able to choose one or two of them. It seems great. I'm looking forward to this. I'm definitely going to get it. As soon as I get it, I'll definitely play a game of it and put it up. What do you guys think about the new Rise of the Empire expansion for Star Wars Rebellion? Please Describe in uh, the comment section below. Goodbye.